Hi everyone, uh, this is Kiran Kumar. Today we would like to discuss about the R minus 1's complement and R's complement. So, what, uh, why we are going to find the operation of R's complement and R minus 1's complement? Uh, exactly, where do we have this application? Whenever we want to do uh, the subtraction in your uh, system binary language, we came across the R minus 1's complement and R's complement. Uh, these complements are used in digital computers in order to simplify the subtraction operation and for the logical manipulation. So these complements mainly they are two types as I said that is R minus 1's complement which is also called as diminished radix complement. The other one is the R's complement which is called as a radix complement. Now let us see what exactly the R minus 1's complement is. So how to define this one? So, if each and every digit of the given number is subtracted from R minus 1 and the result is the R minus 1's complement. So, this is how we are going to define the R minus 1's complement, where the R is the base of that number system. So, R is nothing but the base or radix of that particular number system. So, the example, the best examples what we have for your R minus 1 is 1's complement and 9's complement. So now let us see into the uh, what exactly the ones complement is. As I have defined that R minus ones complement example is ones complement. So if each and every digit of the given number is subtracted from all ones, then the resultant what we are going to get is called as the ones complement. So if you do like that, the other definition what we can give is by changing the zeros to ones and ones to zeros. So, this is called as uh, ones complement. So, the other way how we can express the ones complement is for a given number, if I changing the ones to zeros and zeros to ones, then what are the result you are going to get that is called as a ones complement. Now, if you see an example, the complement of ones of uh, uh, 1011001 is given here. So, each and every digit 1011001 is subtracted from all ones such that you are getting a result as 01001010. Nothing but we are changing 1 to 0, 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 and so on. We are getting the ones complement. Similarly, you have the second example also. You can observe this one. Now, coming to the 9's complement, as 9's complement also falls under the R minus 1's complement, uh, if each and every digit of the given number is subtracted from 10 minus 1, nothing but 9's, then the resultant is 9's complement. Uh, so, now let us find out the 9's complement of 4, 5, 6. If you take 4, 5, 6, uh, if each and every digit is subtracted from 9, uh, then what are the result I am going to get is 5, 4, 3, which is a 9's complement of 4, 5, 6. Now, 9's complement, one more example, if you see here, to find the 9's complement of 5, 4, 6, 7, double 0, so I am subtracting each and every digit from all 9's and I am getting a result of 4, 5, 3, 2, double 9, that is the 9's complement of this particular number 54,700. Likewise, if you see the second example, each and every digit is subtracted from all lines and you, are, you can see the result over here. Now, coming to the R's complement which is also called as radix complement, uh, it is something uh, the additional feature of your R minus 1's complement. If each and every digit of the given number is subtracted from R minus 1 and adding 1 to the resultant will give the R's complement. Uh, in other words, what I can say is R minus 1's complement plus 1 uh, will give the R's complement uh, or I can say that adding 1 to R minus 1's complement will result in R's complement, very simple. So, in order to perform R's complement, uh, even I must be aware of uh, R minus 1's complement. So, if I perform R minus 1's complement, then only I can get the R's complement by adding 1. So, the example what we have is 2's complement. Uh, so, again the same definition is repeated here, 2's complement, if each and every digit of the given number is subtracted from all 1's and adding a 1 to the resultant will give the 2's complement. So, here is the example, now first performing the 1's complement and adding 1 
the resultant whatever you are going to get that is a two's complement of the given number now second method what we have for your two's complement is uh, what are the number used uh, is given here just replacing uh, uh, replacing ones by zeros and zeros by ones in all other higher significant bits from your least significant bit from which you are getting uh, uh, the first one now uh, for example if you take this number and this number from starting from lsb when you are moving to the msb uh, whenever till the first one write the numbers as it is and after reaching the first one the remaining numbers if you change 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 then it will give the two's complement of the given number this is the shortest method what we have to find out the two's complement of the number so now coming to the tens complement the same thing first find the nines complement and adding one to the resultant will give the tens complement here i am finding out the nines complement of 4 5 6 4 7 so that I got the 9th complement as 5, 3, uh, 5, 4, 3, 5, 2. That is the 9th complement of the given number. Now I am adding 1 to that one so that it is resulting in, uh, sorry, this is 5, 4, 3, 5, 3. So that will result in your 10th complement.